Welcome, chess friends. Today's game is a game that I played with a, uh, a chess.com uh, opponent, and uh, <laughs> it's quite a game. And I just want to see if you can spot how many errors there are in the game. So uh, do your calculating. Are you calculating correctly? And see how many there are. So the, the first few moves are, are quite uh, normal. They're just uh, the way that uh, we go. Now, this is something that I normally do. <laughs> He's attacking this pawn, and I'm, I kind of miss that. And so I put my knight up here. I'm kind of thinking of going over here and attacking his pawn. So I've got my eyes way over here, and I'm really not watching over here. And watch what happens. So he comes out, and uh, I just continue my development. I've got my knight out. But what I should have done is come and got a, uh, a free a free pawn, plus that would have guarded this square so he couldn't come down there, which would have been really smart, but I didn't do that. So then he protected that um, with uh, this pawn, and uh, it uh, worked out. And then I moved this pawn up, and this was considered excellent by the database, and I, you know, I like it. So then he put his knight down, and then I, sh I, I don't know if I saw this or not, but I, I, that's what happened. Now, what the correct move would have been to go here. So what I, I should have done is gone here, and uh, he, he would take with this, and then I would have to move this somewhere, move it here, and then, uh, you know, basically we would be done. Uh, but that's not, um, that's not how it went. <laughs> that's not how it went. And so he, uh, I put this pawn up here. Maybe I didn't even see this yet. I don't know. Uh, I wasn't calculating correctly. Well, you calculate better than that. So he, he does it. He forks my rook and my queen. Wow. There we go. At any rate, he's got my queen and my rook forked. And so there we go. So now uh, he, uh, I move my queen up, considered a great move uh, by, the, by the database. That's excellent. So he takes my rook. And then... Um, I put a pawn up, not sure what to do. I still should have put uh, this pawn up here to uh, kick that bishop out of the way or get a pawn going or something, but I didn't do that. So he comes back here and threatens my queen again. So I move my queen over here. I'm just hoping I can steal castle somehow, you know. So he puts his knight up. That's good development. I put my uh, bishop up, offering that to the knight. Let's get that knight out of the way. Now he has two knights on the same thing. I mean, you know, he has two knights on this bishop. So, of course, I've got it protected here and with my king, but it is quite kind of a thing. He's a good player. So I take his knight here, and then he takes, and then I move my knight up here. I kind of like this outpost here. Kind of gives me something fun to do with my knight, perhaps. So he takes with this bishop, but look at that. It's a freebie. So he didn't calculate very well. You calculate better than that. All right, me too, but I didn't do very good on this one. All right, so uh, I take his bishop, and then he goes here, and then uh, he could have, uh, you know, it was going to be discovered check, which I really, really hate to deal with. He could have taken here and discovered check. He could have taken the bishop discovered check. I'd have to, have to move here. I mean, it's just a, a, a really amazing thing that he could have done with discovered check. But uh, I moved my king out of the way which is considered uh, a miss because what I should have done is taken my knight there to that square and then I would have put the king in check and the and I would have got me a rook. I didn't see it. My favorite move. But I'm all focused down here on this problem and this is a hundred miles away and so I'm not focusing on what I could have done up here which is you calculate, yeah, we'll have to calculate better than that. Alright, so he uh, castles which is excellent the uh, database thinks he should have moved this queen up. So finally I go and threaten his rook. I get a free pawn. So he moves his, um, moves his uh, rook out of the way. Then I move my uh, bishop up here. I'm thinking I could get a free, a free pawn. I don't really know what else to do. The database thinks I should have gone there. So he goes here. Uh, but really, that is a free bishop, right? Anything. And so the database thinks I should have taken it uh, whatever. So um, I just take it here. So that puts me 
you know, one point up, given everything that's gone on. And then he gives me his uh, pawn. So I, I put a pawn up here. And he could have taken it with his knight or something. Um, but uh, I don't think he did. Oh, he did. Okay. He, he took, his, uh, took it with his rook. So I take. And then he could have taken with here. It's a free, it's a free piece. He did. Okay, great. So he did that. So I go here and I get that free pawn. I'm up four at this point. And so he moves there, which is really good. So then I get to thinking I could put my knight here and put the, the uh, rook in check. If he would just be so kind as to move his queen here, then I would have a lot of fun. All right, so um, I move my knight there to threaten his uh, rook. He moves it down toward my knight. So I have to get it out of the way. There's, I don't have a decent way to protect it. Um, there's just no way that I could protect that knight. I don't have any dark squared bishops. My queen isn't able to do that. So I just have to move it out of the way. And uh, what I could have done is come down here and threaten his queen. And that might have been, you know, something worthwhile. And I didn't do that. Because if I had come down to threaten his queen instead... So I come down here to threaten his queen. He would have, he couldn't move here or here, but he could have moved here and there. So that would have been you know a pretty interesting move for him. He would have I guess probably it would have moved uh, would have, would have moved here. No, it couldn't move there. Forget that. He possibly moved here. There we go. And so then. Um, I don't know. That was still would have had to move my knight somewhere. But uh, at any rate, let's go back where we were. So I didn't do that. So he moves down, and then I move my knight back to the same place because I had him. I was thinking I could move it down here and do something. But now look what the what's going on. We have the uh, the rook on my pawn. We have the queen one move away from doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, the queen actually could have taken this pawn because I couldn't move it. This this pawn is in check. There's nothing I could have done. Uh, so he didn't see that. He wasn't calculating. So I moved my queen up. So I'm protecting this pawn. So if he does take, um, take it with the rook, I can take with my queen and do something. But still, really a real uh, challenging little situation here, not one that I like. So he moves his pawn down. And the, um, the database wanted him, of course, to move his... Uh, his queen up there. So I take his, uh, his knight is free to take. So I take it. And then uh, once again, I wasn't calculating. He could have taken that. There's nothing I could do. And I would have had to move back down here just to forestall checkmate. He didn't see it, but he did there. So that is definitely uh, devastating. So I moved my queen here. Big mistake. A terrible blunder because he could have taken my queen. I couldn't have taken his queen and it would have been game over. But he wasn't calculating very well and neither was I. So he moved his queen out of the way and I breathed a sigh of relief because I thought, wow, that was a terrible mistake on my part. And I thought, good grief, what's going to happen next? So I decided to start moving my pawns up and try to get another piece. You know, get him to sacrifice one of his pieces for a pawn. So he moves down here to threaten my knight. I move my knight over. Uh, the database thought I should have put it there. And you know what? I agree. I should have put it there. Um, he puts his uh, queen up to threaten my knight some more. So I put my knight down here. And um, the database thought I should have put the queen here because then I could have threatened his rook. And if he had been so busy that he took my knight, I would have got his rook in place of a knight, which would have been fantastic. All right, so he goes to threaten my knight again. And so then I put my queen up there. I should have put my knight up. Oh, that's what it is. I put him in check. That was a, a good move. That actually played out uh, really well later on in the game. So he moves his king there, and then his, his king is well protected. I'm going to have to go to something here or take a pawn or something to be able to put him in check. Or I could fork. If I, if I could fork his bishop, and then get my knight over here. Well, that would have been a fun thing to do. Uh, but, uh, you know, I didn't do that. 
So I put my knight up here, <clears throat> and the database recommends I offer to trade queens. I didn't, and so then he puts his um, pawn down, and he's threatening my my bishop. So if I wanted to save my bishop, I could have just moved my queen there and saved my bishop. I was just not calculating. Calculate better than that. Good grief. So um, it was a fun game anyway, but I'm just looking back, and it's like, oh, good grief. All right, so, so I take his pawn because I think there's no hope for my bishop. He takes my bishop. I'm still five points ahead, but I just, you know, I lost a couple points there. And now, uh, you know, there's a bunch of things on this pawn, and uh, that's not good. And, of course, this puts me in check, which is frustrating. So uh, I have to move out of check. And uh, they recommended that I move here. I don't like moving there because it gives him a way to put me in check by coming th to uh, on that diagonal. So he moves here. And so we're, we're back again to um, not a fun place in putting my king in checkmate. So I decide to start advancing this pawn up and see what I can do. And he moves down. Now he's threatening this pawn. And uh, so I'm not sure what I do to uh, try to protect that. I just put, I just go over here. Oh, that's right. If he goes here, then I'll, it's just checkmate curtains really quick. All right, so then uh, he moves his queen up here, which is considered a great move by the database. And uh, I decided to keep moving this pawn up. I do. He didn't see it. He should have got that pawn. We didn't see it. So I get it one move away from getting a um, a king, you know, a queen. But he is really close to causing all kinds of trouble here. And so I do something that kind of works out good, but it, you know, I didn't really expect it to. So he goes here, and there I am, and um, uh, you know, I got I got a problem. So so I do something a little bold, and I I wish I always did bold things, but I put my knight up here to put him in check. He's going to take my knight, and then I have a really fantastic opportunity. Uh, I can put him in check and put his queen in jeopardy at the same time. I didn't calculate it well. I should have calculated it well. <coughs> but that also, by putting that knight out of the way, it let my queen focus here. And so what I should have done is taken his um, rook with my rook. So if I had done that, then he would have moved out of the way. And he would have had to move here or something. Uh, and then I could have taken his queen. That's what I should have done. But that's not what happened. Instead, I um, I take with my queen. So I wasn't calculating. Well, the whole game I wasn't calculating. Uh, so it's crazy. So he takes. I take. And now it's just in a matter of cleanup. He takes my knight. I get a, a, my queen back. He moves there to protect and then I take pieces and then um, put him in check. He moves down. That's a bad move. I move there, and that is checkmate, my friends. I, I was shocked that that was checkmate. <laughs> I didn't expect it, but if you look at it, the king can't go here. This is from the queen. He can't go there. He can't go there. Uh, he can't go there from the pawn. This is from the queen, and that's from the pawn. So... That is indeed checkmate. So how many errors did you spot in that game? How many mistakes? So I'm going to count up how many mistakes, and uh, I don't have that, but I'll put it in a trailer at the end of the video later, or I'll answer it in a short or something. Anyway, I'll find out how many mistakes was in were, was there and uh, go from there. So I did get some points added onto my my uh, you know my ELO, but I'm not sure that I deserved it. But thank you so much for watching. I if this uh, was uh, uh, helpful to you. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share and all that. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and we'll check you later.